Hi everyone, it's Naomi Kanaika from gospelthrougharts.com. It's a beautiful Friday. Happy Friday to you all. Today I'm from I'm working from home, so I am home. I just dropped my daughter to school and I just want to encourage you before I start my work. Um, today is Friday, so it's a relaxed day, more um, uh, looking forward for the weekend, the rest that every one of us need. I want to encourage you to endure through it. I had few experiences this week where I could have spoken of the, uh, the wrong or error or I could have fought my way through it, but I endure through it. When you endure through the pain, through the hurts, through the wrongdoing, you will, you will bloom and you will blossom. And when you come out of that trouble, that persecution or difficulty, you see that God has been faithful. Through it all, he was with us. The same thing we would be studying today, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, our last Bible study for this month and for this season before we have a summer break. And we would hear in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 today how Paul is telling us to remind ourselves that we are going through a light affliction. It is not a light affliction when you see the trials that you have endured. You feel that it's not light. It is heavy. It is hard. It is difficult. It is big. But Paul is saying it is a light affliction compared to the glory that you would see in the end. The book, the book has an end. And the ending is far more great and beautiful. The glory is so much better than this light affliction affliction that you and I are going through. So to tell what I went through, I had a, a co-worker that I work with closely and she's really usually very kind and very nice and she's a senior to me so I, I submit to her and uh, there were some cases, some things that were going through where uh, we had a, a disagreement and then um, she was very very cold towards me and i could feel that that um the connection that we had was like going out and she was very cold towards me but i was still showing her kindness i still showed her love and i still showed her appreciation and i did what she wanted me to do and um, through that endurance yesterday was where i was in person so i would meet her face to face and um I could still feel that coldness towards me, but towards the end, she realized and we were able to connect again. So my brother and sister, I don't know what you are going through. Will you endure it today? Will you remind yourself this is a light affliction compared to the glory that God is having for you and I? Dealing with people, dealing with situations in our life is not easy. But through it, will you endure it? Yesterday, after all that from work, I came home and I had some people coming to um, for an interview to our home. And they said it would be maybe one hour, but it went from 6.30 till 8 o'clock. And I was like so tired by the end of it. But it was a really good interview that we did. I've, I've been supported. Our children have been supported from Extended Family Center, charitable organization who has helped us with inclusion, with support, with school, fighting for rights and all these things. And um, they have been audited. The organization is being audited. So they asked me, are you able to give us, uh, give the people who are auditing them a good feedback of this organization? So uh, yesterday they visited our home. It was a casual conversation where I would be talking about our situations and how extended family or this organization was beneficial for us and how it helped us through navigate the school system how it helped us with knowledge and information and um, and through when I was going through and telling my story they couldn't believe what we went through and they were amazed how we were able to endure through everything through meetings through difficult to difficult no doctors saying no teachers saying no principals saying no school system saying no but we endure through it and it was a great credit goes to God, our Father, our Lord Jesus, who were with us through that time to help us to enjoy it. 
So I had my T-shirt on where I was not able to speak about my religion or my, my beliefs, but I had my T-shirt on that I wore a black T-shirt with saying the battle belongs to the Lord. And they know that uh, everywhere, the walls everywhere display that we are believers, we are Christians and we endure through it because we have Christ with us. So my brother and sister, Paul will be talking to us from 2 Corinthians chapter 4 where he would tell that I was put in jail, I was beaten up, I was persecuted, but I went through this suffering because I knew this is a light affliction compared to the glory that God has for us. You and I will be comforted with the scripture to know that the enemy is fighting against us more because the enemy knows we are having a victory in the end. The enemy knows that if we defeat this person, this is the only time we can defeat this person because she has the end saying she has won the victory through Jesus Christ. So my brother and sister, it is done by the Lord Jesus. We are going through this affliction for a short time. Will you endure it? Just like a caterpillar who is in this cocoon tied up inside. But he will endure, break forth and into a beautiful butterfly. You will be, receive this gift from Christ when you endure it. So no matter what comes against you today, endure through it. Zip that mouth where you want to speak back. Calm your heart when you feel stressful. Open your mind to see the word, what God has spoken for you, saying that he will fight your battles. You only need to stand still. We are the full armor of Christ. Stand still and see the deliverance that our Lord Jesus will have for you. You will endure through it because the battle has been already won. He is faithful. Our God is faithful. He is loving. He has great plans for you and I. Let us endure through it endure through it we are coming to this weekend where we can relax and rest and take a break and do the things we love to do yesterday i took some of my books to my workplace to give some co-workers where i felt led to give and uh, i gave one girl and uh, when i was talking about work and different things she said if you can write three books you can do this as well <laughs> so no matter how what you're going through, my brother and sister, encourage yourself. You can do it because God is in it. God will be with you. He will help you to endure through it because you are in God's hand. Let's pray. Father God, we come to you. Many times we feel like giving up. Many times we feel like fighting back. Many times we feel like it's end. It's over. I cannot do this anymore. God, we thank you for helping us to endure through it. Endure through this difficult time because we know the battle has been won. So help us today, Lord. Help my brother and sister to endure through it. Come out of this cocoon. Come out of this waiting period victorious because it is a light affliction compared to the glory that we will have in the end. Thank you, Father, that you are with us through it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to encourage you with this small uh, song that I would like to sing. It's called, Great is Thy Faithfulness. It is beautiful. It is a beautiful hymn that all of us know, that we know that no matter what, our God is faithful. Great is thy faithfulness. O oh God, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with Thee. Thou changest not Thy compassions, they fail not. As Thou hast been, Thou forever will be. Great is Thy faithfulness, great is Thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new Moses I see. All I have need of thy hands hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me. 
Have you, can you say that God has been faithful through it all? God has been with you and you were able to endure through it. God is showing us by nature, by, by beauty, by the creation to endure through it. Though this earth is flooded with snow, flooded with water, it still endures. So my brother and sister, let us endure. He's coming again for you and I very, very soon. If you haven't got my book, The Open Door, get a copy because in the last page of the book, it is the hope that you and I have. And that is our Lord Jesus coming on a white horse for you and I. Will you endure till he comes, till he calls you home to our eternity with him. If you want a copy, let me know so I can bring some on Sunday and give you a copy as well. I am so blessed because God is with us. He is with us to endure through it. Endure through it today, my brother and sister. Have yourself a happy Friday. If you are in Toronto, join our Bible study group. Ask me for the link. We will start at 7 p.m. by Zoom. We will study 2 Corinthians chapter 4. It's a wonderful, jam-packed chapter. Do not miss it. Do not get yourself busy today so you'll be exhausted for the Bible study. But remind yourself, you have to come for the Bible study. So get everything out of your agenda and clear that pathway so you'll be present at 7 p.m. today to hear the Word of God and be encouraged. And pray with your brothers and sisters in Christ and, and encourage one another. Have yourself a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.